Hi guys, welcome back. I'm on my way to Robinson's Las Piñas. Uh, I'm going to be uh, surprising the wife and visiting her at work. Uh, she's the one organizing all these Tamiya races that are going on here in the Philippines. And uh, na miss ko na kasi sumali dito sa mga race na eh. uh, For this weekend, I think the race is going to be the Tamiya Mini four wheel drive. Uh, before the pandemic, me and my friends addicted kayo dito. Talagang we were joining the races every every uh, race na nandon. We would join pati yung mga weekly races in the brickyard in Makati. Salirin kami. And uh, what the class that we used to join is what they call the T-Mac stock, which is uh, T-Mac, I think it's Tamiya Mini Asia Challenge. And um, we really like the class because there's a limit on how much modifications you can make. Uh, so it, it kind of levels the field to a certain point. So talagang more of timpla talaga ang, ang pinaglalabanan, hindi yung pagandahan ng galing sa gawa or pyesa. So, but recently, uh, I think that rule has been changed. Um, since uh, the pandemic, uh, well, since all the races post-pandemic, the rules have changed and hindi na daw ganun ka limited yung mga pwedeng gawin sa stock as compared to before so medyo nabago-bago na ng konti pero there's still a limit so hindi pa rin siya what they call the um, the open class open class yung no limit talaga hindi lang sa no limit you can you can do whatever you want so yung mga they would cut up the chassis, they would put suspension. So yun lahat yun pwede. Pero sa stock class, the difference between the stock and the open class, whatever parts that you are going to be buying for it, kunyari if this part is designed to be a bumper, then you have to use it as a bumper. If this is designed to be uh, a dampener, it has to be used as a dampener. Yung sa open class, People actually use it, kumaga kung na nakita nila, itong part na to, can be used in so many other ways. They would cut it up, they would re-engineer it to make it uh, do what they want it to do, not necessarily based on what the factory designed it to do. So, so yung challenge ngayon is how good are you in repurposing a product. So yun yung sa open class. Kaya medyo hindi namin ako. I personally don't like it too much. May, mahina kasi ako doon. So I leave it to the people who are really good in re-engineering stuff in joining that class. I really enjoyed what they call the stock class. Yun nga lang. Never ko pa na-join itong bagong stock class na to. But uh, today will be uh, the first time I'm actually going to see a race based on the new class. So we'll see. Uh, hopefully next time uh, makasali ako ulit. Kasi ngayon medyo ang problem ko is uh, because of the work. Medyo dumadami na rin yung work ko. Something na uh, wasn't as much during the before pandemic. Ngayon medyo dumami na. So ang hirap sumali dito sa mga races. And you have to commit at least one whole day. Plus, of course, you have to uh, go practice, pa, go to brickyard, practice your 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 car, and then uh, and buy some more parts. Pero uh, hopefully, makabalik kasi it was a fun it was a fun hobby. And uh, with the mini, it was the the cost is manageable as compared to RC. Pero Next weekend yata yung RC races naman. Uh, yun. Parang gusto ko because I actually started with RCs when I was growing up as opposed to Mini. Pero alam ko this is 
it is one of those na pag uh, kaya ayo kung umpisahan eh baka, kasi medyo madugudugong gastusin yun eh once na nagtuloy-tuloy yun eh so uh, but uh, let's see next week I'll also try to see if I can swing by and uh, check out the RC races wala lang reminiscing lang of uh, things during high school but I'll uh, I'll post some uh, video footage of the Tamiya Mini race later when I get there and then uh, I'll, I'll post back uh, more after so uh, I'll see you guys later came from uh, Robinson's Las Piñas Gabe, kakainggit yung race uh, I, yung excitement ng mga racers feel na feel mo because that's exactly how I was feeling when I was racing before kakainggit talaga how I wish I was racing again pero uh, wala eh I have to uh, prioritize some other things pero ang ganda, ang ganda ng race uh, so congratulations actually to uh, Brickyard uh, who is the event 
who is the organizer of all the Philippine races. Now, uh, eh, by the way, it's not my wife who owns the brickyard. Baka mag, ma, ano kayo eh. No, my wife's company is being hired by Brickyard as the event organizer. And uh, mga events kasi siya. So, I'm also happy for her that uh, her business is now back again. Uh, since obviously during the pandemic, the event the event uh, business is one of the hardest hit in the industry. I'm so glad that they are now finally back with that. So yun nga, uh, na, so yun yung na-realize ko nga with this one, they did change some of the rules for the for the the previously stock class and like mentioned ko a while ago. So yung uh, difference is medyo mas nadagdagan yun what you can do with the stock class than before. So medyo humirap nga daw eh kasi um uh, Ang dami nang pwede mong gawin eh. Dati mas madali because it was very limited on what you can do. So pretty much yung labanan nyo medyo mas dikit-dikit kayo. Ngayon talaga medyo lumaki-laki yung discrepancy on the type of cars that people modify. But that's that's how races happen. Kaya yun yung nagpapasaya sa races in the difference and all those eh. So, uh, so once again, if you guys uh, are very interested to know more about Tamiya races or the official Tamiya races, either it's Tamiya Mini or the, uh, uh, what do you call this, the RC, uh, do look for the Brickyard in uh, Facebook and then look for the schedule of races. So, but uh, thank you very much guys for listening in and if you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so. Till our next vlog. Bye. Hi. Ingit na talaga ako. See you.